What's up, y'all? It's Emil Innis Jr. back here with Clever News, and Kim Kardashian just single-handedly caused Facebook stock to plummet after she announced that she will be freezing her social media accounts in order to stop the spread of hate online. Whether you love them, hate them, or just love to hate them, the Kardashians are undoubtedly an influential pop culture force to be reckoned with. From snapping selfies to embracing your curves, the famous family has mastered taking a trend and turning it into a cultural phenomenon, and better yet, a profitable part of their brand. Brand. But despite their global popularity, the amount of hate they receive on a daily basis tends to become endless and even tiresome. That said, Kim Kardashian is taking a stand against all the hate in an attempt to put an end to all the misinformation constantly displayed on headlines across the internet by freezing her Instagram and Facebook accounts for 24 hours. She took to Twitter to share the announcement Tuesday, writing, quote, I love that I can connect directly with you through Instagram and Facebook, but I can't sit by and stay silent while these platforms continue to allow the spreading of hate, propaganda, and misinformation. Created by groups to sow division and split America apart, only to take steps after people are killed. She went on to add, misinformation shared on social media has a serious impact on our elections and undermines our democracy. Please join me tomorrow when I will be freezing my Instagram and Facebook account to tell Facebook to stop hate for profit. Kim also prompted fans to check out the link in her bio for more information, which appears to be an ongoing campaign to quote, hold social media companies accountable for hate on their platforms, Social media must prioritize people over profit and they must do it now. The Stop Hate for Profit organization reportedly sent a message to Facebook back in July with the support of over 1,200 businesses, nonprofits, and consumers to stop valuing profits over hate, bigotry, racism, anti Semitism, and disinformation. The campaign also says that many other celebrities will be participating in freezing their accounts, including Katy Perry, Jennifer Lawrence, Ashton Kutcher, Leo DiCaprio, Amy Schumer, Michael B. Jordan, Jamie Foxx, and more. But just as Kim spread the message to her 67 million Twitter followers and urged them to join in on the movement, Facebook's stock reportedly plummeted just around 3 p.m. yesterday as millions of fans took part in bashing the social media app. And although it can be argued that Kim is using her platform for good, this isn't exactly how fans are taking her participation in the movement, largely in part due to her husband Kanye West's participation in the 2020 presidential election. One user responded to her tweet writing, ironically, Kim's husband is helping to spread that hate speech and misinformation. Maybe she frees him as well. This person suggested that Kim's participation in the movement is because the family's reality show Keeping Up the Kardashians was canceled, writing, here's why, because she now has nothing better to do and has been out of the spotlight for far too long. Some are even wondering if Kim will be taking her KKW ads off Facebook during her 24-hour freeze. This person said, will you also take down your brand's advertisements on Facebook and Instagram to amplify the stop hate for profit message? Then again, the main takeaway here is that Kim is using her platform to bring awareness to such hate, constantly making its way around the internet. This fan responded to all the comments regarding Kanye writing, I really don't think her or anyone can control Kanye West and his God complex. She has a mind of her own, and I appreciate that she is using her platform to show she has a different stand than him. But for more Kim Kardashian news, including the backlash surrounding her maternity skims line, click right over here for another clever video. And then let us know your thoughts on everything we discussed down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr., and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys.